here. So this is my big kelp, kelp, bamboo and sugarcane harvester. If we go in, in here, you can see it's not the prettiest of places, but here's it set up. So these observers will be able to tell when the sugarcane is fully grown and activate these pistons which make it flow into the water here yeah, and into this hopper and then I've got that going in three different directions and then I've also got it going upstairs I've got bamboo growing occasionally you'll get some parts, parts that don't quite fall in the water so it's good every now and then to just come up here and grab the scraps since they will despawn eventually and if if something broke it would just drop down here and down here and this and then once you've done that had it would go into this chest then it's not in here since I've connected this up to a super silo which I guess I could tell tell you how to make where you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff. Woo, <laughs> look at this. I even fit anything in there. Yo, yeah, this one. Yeah, I'll put these in here. Okay. Let's get around the things you need to make this. So you would need a piece of wool, a regular piston, observer, and a hopper. And plus a water bucket if you're going to need to make lots like I have done. And then dirt or grass. And redstone. So place down your piece of grass where you want to start and then build two blocks helps up behind your grass and place a basin, piston facing towards it. Then on top of that you'll place an observer. Place the wheel behind the piston and then the observer then put it on top of the observer. And if I've remembered how to make this right, if I grab some sugar canes, we get sand for sugar canes, <laughs> and sugar canes do need to be placed next to water, so I'll do bamboo instead. So it's this. So there's the first one. Not only. Ah, need boom reel. Hold on a sec. Technical difficulties. There you are. And if I've done this right, so that's grown once, and then the observer doesn't detect that it's grown, but if it grows once more, the piston just break it. And then you'll build a channel for multiple ones. then put a water stream here just slightly over and then you'd have a hopper system here feeding outside and then and you'd have these duplicated to either side of this and then for sand, and then for sugarcane, you'd just grab sand instead of grass, and then you do it along here. For the flowers, and then you do just the same again. Why do they always face the wrong way around? <laughs> okay. You just do the same build. 
that's all you need really. One piece of redstone dust, one piece of wool, one piston, and one observer, and one piece of bamboo or sugar cane for each, each of the farms. So to show that it works with sugar cane. Oh yeah, it needs water next to it to work with sugar cane. And then it just hit, gets pushed, and it goes down to the water stream. And gets collected by the hoppers. And then you'd have a double chest here, which would have to collect all the items. And that was a fairly short video, shorter than I was expecting. Oh yeah, um, you could have several of these together. And the redstone does, does connect, but it does the same feature, just except for all of them at once. Also, next is how to make a relatively simple redstone silo. You just need one hopper, well, a few hoppers, a lot of hoppers, <laughs> and then what is it? you'll need plenty of chests. So you start off with, with just one innocent double chest at the top. In fact, I'll do it over by my example over here. To start off with an innocent double chest here. And then down underneath it, you dig down. Oh, that's what I've been to happen. So you can see it's already getting a few items in there. And you dig down underneath it, two layers. What have I stumbled on? Flipping cave. <sighs> Hold on, just need to block this off. Course dirt, have to do. Forgive me, it's not a beautiful hull building block, but it'll do it for now. Okay. And then just extend rapidly around the outs, around to the sides and down. So it's the two directions. It like just filters down into several chests. So underneath this chest, two blocks down, you place another two double chests right next to each other. And then you have hoppers leading from the double chest into both of those, those chests. And then these chests will start to fill with what's put into this chest. I think you're going to be able to see what's going to happen here. Underneath these two double chests, we're going to put three double chests. And actually, have I messed this up? Yeah, mess this up. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah. Doink. Okay. Yeah. And then you have And then you have hoppers leading from these double chests up here. So all of the bottoms of this chest, these chests are covered by high hoppers leading down here. And then underneath here, I think you'll get the idea by now, how you put another row of chests, four double chests this time. And of course, hoppers leading into all of those. And as you can see, that a double chest has twice the time your inventory, so that's doing a bit of mental maths here. 64 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that's 640s, 40 items you can hold, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Twenty 
12 that ends 6 so that's another 60 so that's 700 items how you can hold in this current silo and that's not the end you can just keep on going down and adding more and more and more oh. and you can just throw all sorts in here so I could have loads of dirt and it just keeps on coming and it just takes all of it and as you saw my previous silo over here huh, I've left this machine on for ages and look it's only completely filled two double chests and partially filled others in fact I'll grab these from here and now that these double chests are full I'll break the hoppers leading into them since there is no longer any use leading into them Is this one full? Yep, so this one's full. So I break these two hoppers. Now there's no reason for there to be a going in anything going into this chest. So I I I break this chest and the two two hoppers under above it. So there we go. Now nothing else will get stuck above these chests and they'll just start filling up these ones. So, yeah, that's how to make a silo, a flying machine, and, and a bamboo slash sugarcane harvester. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything else you'd like to see me tell you how to make, feel free, just comment below, and I'll be free to help you who to do whatever you want. And also, I'm thinking of doing a tour of of what I've gotten here and then you on that video you can just comment on anything you'd like to tell me show me to tell you how to build thank you Dragon Boy out